What's the deal, gang? Welcome back to a brand. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. That's it. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. I know. I know I've been gone for a minute. My last upload was about maybe three weeks ago, but I just took a little break just to give my mind and my body a little hiatus from the constant uploads on YouTube and social media platforms. If you do follow me on my other platforms, you know that I've been kind of sporadically posting here and there, maybe like an Instagram reel every so often and like a photo here and there. And if you guys are really, really attentive with my platform, you know that I've been going to the gym every single day. Every morning I've been getting up since the last video I uploaded talking to you guys about my BTS before the sun wake ups. I've been in the gym at 4.30 to 5 a.m. every day since then. But we're back with another video and today's video is actually highly requested by you guys. So I know you guys always ask me about my workout routine, how I stretch, how I got so strong, my athletic background, and so on and so forth. So I figured why not go in depth on a full week's worth of training. That means a full week's worth of workouts. What I do in the gym as far as like my training regimen or like my training split, how I get so strong, how I warm up and stretch, my thought process inside of the gym. Why not take you guys through it all? So this is like a full, what I label it as, a full week's worth of workouts. That's a fucking tongue twister. A full week's worth of workouts. That's a lot of W's, god damn. Anyways, so I'm taking you guys through a full week's worth of workouts. I have been squatting every single day, so you guys will go with me through the whole process of squatting every single day this week. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Day one of the full week's worth of workouts. It is Sunday, currently 6, 10 a.m. I got here about maybe 10 minutes ago or so. I was like one of the first people in here, so it's always a W for me. Um, but I like to start my week's routine as far as coming to the gym on Sundays rather than Mondays, because Sundays there's not a lot of people here, one. It also gives me a chance to really, really lock in because I don't have too many people here. I can stretch for as long as I want. I can squat for as long as I want. I can do everything for as long as I want. Okay, nobody here. So day one for me is always gonna start on a Sunday. It also allows me to build that momentum into coming like into the real like work week that starts on Monday. So Sundays are my day one for me. Today we have squats and we have chest. And before you guys ask, I have to say this so I get this out the way right now. I squat every day. I use squats as a warm up to warm up my full body before I go into any upper body movements, whether that be back or shoulders or whatever. I squat every day. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with the channel, I was in a lot of pain for like a good two months. I couldn't squat, I couldn't deadlift or none of that stuff like that. But my body feels good now. So I've been taking full advantage and squatting every single day. But today we have squats. My normal squat routine, I'll work up to a heavy top set. So if we're, I explained that in my last video, but I'll explain it to you guys again. A top set is like your heaviest set of the movement. So for squats, I've been working up to 405 for one rep. Today, I'm probably going to work up to like 405 for maybe two reps or so, and then work my way back down to 365 for three sets of five, and then I'll go into my chest workout. Um, but day one. You know, I start off with my nice good warm up. I always get into this full body dynamic stretch, making sure my, my legs, my glutes, my hips are all warm. I stretch my hip flexors too, make sure I can get that full range of motion when I'm squatting, get my shoulders warmed up, get my back warmed up, get my chest nice and stretched out, and then I get right into squatting. So let's go right over to the rack. Fuck, it took me, okay, before, it took me like 10 minutes just to say this whole intro, so I better appreciate this. So we finished the warm-up. I currently have 365 on the bar. I told you guys beforehand that I do squat every day, but I should have gave you details first about how I actually do it. So I gauge how heavy my top set is based on how my body feels. I told somebody this early in the week, but I don't really have like a plan or like a structure. I just go based off how I feel physically. If I feel strong enough to go four or five, then I'll do it. And if I don't, then I won't. You know, I feel like it's a lot of listening to my body and not trying to just lift for a number because I feel like you're gonna get stronger if you do something all the time anyways. It doesn't matter how often you do it, it doesn't matter how much weight you push. If you do something consistently, you're gonna get stronger, but it's also smarter to pay attention to how you feel so you're not like overstraining your body. And like I, the last thing I wanna do is get hurt again. So I told you guys in the beginning of this video that it was gonna be 405 for my top set. Well, I don't feel, I'm not feeling 405 ish today. So I'm feeling 365. So I'll go 365, see how many reps I can push that as my top set. Then I'm gonna come back down to 315 and then do two sets or three sets of five to seven depending on how I feel, but 365 on the bar, or yeah, 365 on the bar.
All right, so top set was 365 for four. I'm gonna stay there because the weight felt good enough to be able to push for four reps, but I don't feel good enough to do it again. I don't feel good enough to go up. So that's what I mean by gauging how your body feels. I think it's important as anyone who's in the gym at their later life, if you don't have a structure, pay attention to how you feel. That's probably the most important tip I have throughout this whole workout video. If you feel like you can do it, do it. If you don't, listen to that and don't. So I'm gonna go down at 315. Do two more sets, three more sets of seven reps, then go into my chest workout. Oh my God. All right, so the knee sleeves are off, dumbbells are grabbed, we start our chest workout. I normally spend half my workout in here training legs, so the rest of my workout, like the actual like directed movement of the day or body part of the day is a lot faster. I try to get minimal rest in between sets and try to get in and get out. So we're training chest today. I normally go two dumbbell exercises, one form machine exercise, three cable movements, and I'm out. I superset a lot of stuff, so it's real easy, but today we're going flat dumbbell press first. Four sets of like 12 to 15, and that top set is the heaviest set for as many reps as we can. So I start off with 85s and normally end up with the 100 pound dumbbells for as many as I can. And then I'll go into, I'll just type dumbbell press first. All right, so dumbbell press is done. That's probably like the main chest movement I do. I don't bench press anymore. Um, I train chest twice a week and I'll do either a flat or dumbbell or flat or incline dumbbell press. But now move on to a chest press machine. I like this one, but I like the other one that's over that's plate loaded. That one's just being used right now. Um, but I normally do the rest of this till failure. Like these are all movements that I'll do three sets of failure. I don't count reps. I just go until my body or my muscle in that moment is fatigued. I feel like that's how you get the most out of the movement because if you put a cap on like rep ranges then you're only forcing yourself to go to as many reps as you said you're going to and not really till muscle fatigue or like till you can't go anymore so i'll do three sets till failure for like the rest of these exercises and then that'll pretty much be it so i'm gonna go flat press machine press with a single arm cable fly then after i'm gonna go peg deck fly with a tricep extension then i'll finish off with weight uh body weight dips and that's pretty much it so Let's finish this chest day. I'm tired, bro. I don't have my, I forgot my, one thing too. This is probably the only day I do this, but I forgot my Apple Watch at home, so I can't even track the workout. So for some of y'all who do follow me on like the fitness app, today may not count, but when you watch this motherfucker, this motherfucker count, bro. So that is it for workout number one of the full week's worth of work. That's a fucking tongue twister. Full week's worth of workouts vlog. I like to rate my workouts at the end just like based off of how my body feels at the end. So this was like a smooth eight out of 10. Like I got in, got in here early, did what I needed to do. Quick, get in, get out type shit. So I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Feel me bright and early, 4.30 a.m. for day two. It is currently 5.35 a.m. on Monday. So whenever you guys watch this, good morning. Uh, we are back with day two of the full week's worth of workouts vlog. Today we have squats, shoulders, and upper chest. I train these two body parts particularly at the same time because of how similar the movements are and how easy it is to utilize your shoulders when you train upper chest and then vice versa. So that's my like my first official like week workout of the week, whatever you want to call it. But we're back. Um, I got a nice, good warm up in, nice, good stretch in. I think yesterday I feel like I was rushed because I didn't have too much space on this red turf to give you guys a full warm up. So today I took you guys to a full dynamic stretch. I was able to get my massage gun now, get my hips warmed up able to get my full full body stretch in. Uh, but now my body feels nice and warm. Pre-workout just kicked too, so let's get right into squat. All right, so we're nice and warmed up. Got 315 on the bar. Um, one thing before I get into this next squat. I told you guys yesterday that I didn't go through a digit, like a diligent warm up, which resulted in me only being able to squat 365. Well, today I had time and space to go through a nice, like, diligent 
kind of like a perfect routine warm up that I normally do in the morning and it's resulting in my body performing at a better rate. So for anyone who's interested, again, I not that I wouldn't recommend squatting every day, but if you're interested in trying to see how your body develops and like results from the squats every day, make sure you take your warm up very serious because it'll make or break the squat and it'll make or break the rest of the workout. Like I've been in here a couple times where I kind of bullshit a warm like a warm up because I'm tired because it's early. It's right now it's still it's 5:53 right now, and it resulted in me not being able to squat a lot, which also kind of like fucked me up mentally when I went to train the rest of my body. So like a warm up is imperative. Make sure you're getting your hips warmed up. Make sure you're getting your hip flexors nice and warmed up. Your hip flexors are huge when it comes to hitting that depth within the squat too. So make sure don't be bullshitting me. I'm giving you guys information, so don't, so don't be bullshitting me. But 315 squat. I'm gonna go 365 next, then I'll go four or five for my top set, and then back down to three. I might, I might go 335 for my three sets of seven before I go into chest and shoulders. So, we'll see. So, 405 for two. For a good two, like a good, a good hard working two. It's, I feel like this is like a post game interview. Like, so how was your performance today? Well, cool, you know, we went out there, you know, we executed, do what we needed, <laughs> do what we needed to do. Uh, no, I felt good though, I felt good. I'm not gonna go 335 for my back down sets. I'm gonna go 315 for my back down sets because I know that my legs are gonna start feeling a little achy and sore in a little bit. So, 315 for about two to three sets of like three to five or five to seven and then into chest and shoulders. I'm not even gonna film this set, so I'm gonna just do them and I'll catch up with you guys when we go to shoulders. All right, so squats are done. I'm actually happy about how squats ended. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. The, the three by five to seven felt really good too, so I'm, I'm impressed. But now we got upper chest and shoulders, which everything from this point forward is a superset. It's two movements going back and forth, minimal break, uh, break or rest in between. So that'll be something to get in, get in, get out type shit. So I'm gonna start off with incline dumbbell press and lateral raises. And then I'll go to two other exercises, superset those two. And then I'll go to two more exercises, superset those two. Finish off with like a single arm pin press, and then I'm done. All right, so next we're going into a cable face pull, but I do them on like the seated row machine because it's easier for me to get the full range of motion to hit my rear delts. This is a rear delt movement, so we're gonna superset face, it's not a face pull, but I'm gonna call it a face pull for the fuck of it. We're gonna superset face pulls with seated Arnold press. Grab some dumbbells, there's no back support, so you gotta really engage your core. Do a nice Arnold press. So this will be quick, another two sets of like 15 to like 20-ish, and then onto the next two movements. I'm tired, by the way, I'm fucking gassed. I am like 100% gassed. It's currently 6.30, so I've been here for a little over an hour so far, so. We're moving at a good pace, but I'm tired as fuck. All right, so I'm tired. We're finishing up day two with three last exercises. We're gonna superset the last two, and then the last one will be a burnout. We're gonna do high pulls for the traps. A reverse grip shoulder press for the front delts, and then we're gonna uh, finish off with a pin press. That'll be a burnout set. So let me finish these and I'm get out of here. It will be done with day two. It is currently 6:42, so I've been here for exactly an hour and 11 minutes. So I try to keep my workouts under an hour 30 minutes because I don't want to be here that long. I don't need to, especially when one exercise takes up the first half of the, the workout itself. So got like a good 20 minutes left, and I'll be out of here. All right, so that is it for day two of the full week's worth of workouts vlog. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day three. And we're back, it is day three of the full week's worth of workouts vlog. I'm not showing the warm up today. I'm not showing the warm up because y'all know I get my good stretch in, massage gun, the whole nine. I'm already, I'm, I'm already warmed up, I'm already warmed up. It's currently 5.48, I got up right on time today. I actually got up before my alarm went off today at 4.24. So I'm up, I'm here. Today we have back and hamstrings along with squats. Um, and let me set the record straight right now. I normally take a day off in between 
the week workout. I normally do. I normally stretch four workouts over five to six days, take a day off in the middle, and then take a day off at the end. But for the sake of this YouTube video, I want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. So I'm going consecutive days. This is day three consecutive days. It's all right, though. I'm, I'm, I'll be straight. But let's get right to squats. Today, I'm going to try to hit another four or five for two, maybe even three today, because I really feel nice and stretch. Like, nice and stretch. I got a good stretch last night before I went to bed, and I ate a lot of food yesterday, too, so I'm feeling nice and, like, recharged up or something like I'm charged up type shit. So let's go. <sighs> get ready for squats. All right, so we got 405 on the bar. Um, I've taken like a real aggressive approach today. I don't know why. It's more like a, I wanna kinda get through squats. What I've realized about doing this every single day is that as I continue to squat every day, I get progressively frustrated with the weight. It's like, I don't know, it's like a mental thing for me. It's like the more I do something, the more frustrated I get because I wanna do it better. I wanna proceed past the weight. I'm not trying to squat 500 pounds. That's not the goal here. I think the goal for me is to kinda get my body back in optimal shape to where I'm strong enough and I'm athletic enough to be able to endure anything and all sorts of activities. And this has been like one of the things that's always held me back is like my leg strength and like my ability to stay healthy. So today, I'm gonna just do a, a fucking AMRAP of four or five and see what happens. I feel I feel good, the weight feels light on my back and I kinda, I'm kind of frustrated right now too, okay. So let's get to it. Hey man. <laughs> That's like a clear example of leaving your ego at the door when you walk into the gym because I had like full intentions on trying to squat 405 for more than one rep. I did. It, it is what it is. So I'm going to hang it up right there, drop down to 315 and go my 3 by 7 and then go into back. That motherfucker was heavy, nigga. As soon as I got on my back, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so now we're on to back and hamstrings. And these are probably my most complex workouts that I have in my regimen. It's because it involves more than just like a simple press and fly or cable type shit. Um, today we're focusing on the eccentric movements or like the, the downward negative movements for hamstrings. So like RDLs and leg curls. And we're doing all pull movements. So pull ups, pull downs type shit. So today, or for, for now at least, we're gonna start off with a stiff leg deadlift on the Smith machine. I'm elevated on two plates right now so I can get a good range of motion and then we're gonna superset that with pull-ups and then we'll go on to the next movement. I'm fucking, I'm low-key pissed off. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm low-key tight because that 405 squat kind of fucked with me. I remember I told you guys two days ago that um, squats make or break a good or bad workout and that 405 like lift kind of fucked with my head so now I'm kind of pissed off. So hopefully I don't, I mean, I don't know. Let's get to it, whatever, it don't matter. I don't superset an exercise, it's because I either like doing it or it's extremely important, and in this case, it's both. The next exercise is a face pull down. Um, I enjoy the movement because I get a better pump from this, but it also helps with lat development. So if you're someone who wants to have like a big wide back, this is gonna attribute to that along with a couple other exercises, but the, the face pull or the front pull down is like one of my favorite exercises. I, I'll have, I've done it for my entire life basically, and it's always benefited me. Um, I use the V-bar more so than the rope or like the shape bar just because I feel like I have more lat engagement with the V-bar But generally the the movement is simple You start at the top pull down you keep your arms locked out You try to pull through your elbows and not through like your wrist and that's how you engage the lat So let me do this set. I'm gonna do a super set with one movement So I'm gonna do the movement regular and then I'm gonna single side it which I can't explain I have to show you so let me just Get into it that fucking 405 really fucked me up. I'm really pissed Ah Ah, fuck. All right, so we're coming towards the end of this workout, finishing off with pull-ups and pull-downs. I'm only doing two sets of these because I do these also tomorrow for my full body day, but I'm gonna do a regular pull-down wide grip and then I'm gonna do a reverse pull-up. And I wanted to do hamstring curls, but all the hamstring curl machines are taken so we gonna talk it right there. Them hamstrings is, <laughs> them RDOs is enough. So let's finish with these pull downs and then get the fuck up out of here.
right, so that is it for day three. This is where mind over matter comes into play because I am fatigued and tomorrow is gonna be even worse. My body's gonna feel even more beat up tomorrow. But that's kind of the whole point of this. The whole point of getting up at 4.30 in the morning and working out is to face that mind over matter, is to build that like discipline and like mental toughness to get through the hardest thing in the day, which is getting in the gym, getting up early, and like working out at a proficient rate. So day three is done. So I'll be back tomorrow for day four for the last day of this vlog. Full week's worth of workouts. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow. Full week's worth of workout vlogs has finally come. It's currently 5.35. Got here about 20 minutes ago and well, I'm gang, I'm tired. I ain't gonna hold you, I'm tired, gang. As I said yesterday, I normally split these workouts into four workouts that last the whole week, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to get this out as, poss as soon as possible. So I did all four of my workouts for the week consecutively. Today's gonna be a little shorter. It's gonna be a little lighter on the body after squats. We have full body, so that means two exercises per body part. Get in, get out type shit, nothing too crazy. So let's get this work. I'm not doing shit the rest of this week, bro. All right. Let's get into squats. Fuck. I still have a little bit of like animosity towards my 405 performance yesterday. I'm kind of tight, I ain't gonna hold you. So like I'm coming back with a little bit of vengeance, but it's like conscious, conscious vengeance because my body is fatigued and everything feels heavy, but like watching the footage of each lift, it's not moving like it's heavy. So I'm gonna see how 365 feels and then I might go four or five, I might. But either way, just like if there's one thing I want you to take from this four weeks or four days worth of training, it's like I really try, I do my best to pay attention to how my body feels when I have to do a certain lift, when I'm trying to push a certain weight because if it's not there, I'm not gonna force it. And yesterday, I thought it was there, but it wasn't there. So I was on some like, let me put my ego shit in my back pocket, you feel me? So, number 365, and then I will gauge a 405 lift, possibly. All right, so 365 didn't move that bad. It didn't feel that bad on my back either. So I'm gonna load up 425. The reason I'm loading up 425 is because I know I can hit this and I know I feel good and I'm trying to psych myself out of the idea that my body hurts and I'm tired and I'm fatigued. I think the best part about the way I train like this, it's I'm constantly trying to push myself to lift more but also consciously knowing that I can't limit myself to what I can lift. I keep saying 405, 405, I'm playing around with a number that I know I feel like I can't surpass. My fuck all that bro. I'm finna, I'm finna squat this right now for a single, for a good quality single. Hey, hey, mug. hey, nigga, you feel me? Hey, that was a grinder, but it was, that was, man, I'm not doing no back down sets. Fuck that. So I'm going right into the full body stuff, but a big W for me, bro. All right, so we're getting started with the full body portion of this workout, which it's really all machine work and accessory things. So things that I didn't do earlier in the week, I do today all in one workout. So that's chest press and standing shoulder press. That's a machine row and a reverse grip pull down. That's front raises with dumbbells leg extensions and cap raises and that's it. Literally in that order. So let me just get through this real quick or get through the first two exercises and then we'll move on. Damn, 425 bro? Yeah, that's a, I made up for yesterday because yesterday was some bullshit, oh God. That is it for day four. If you guys have any questions at all about my split, about why I train the way I do, and so on and so forth, make sure you drop those in the comments just to go over this in general. Taking out of my squat every day, my regular split is Sunday I train chest, 
Monday, I train upper chest and shoulders. Tuesday, I train back and hamstrings. Wednesday, or the fourth day of the week, or the fourth training session I have, I'll do a full body movement. I'll take a day off in between those two workouts. And then one of the days in the week, I probably go hoop or I do something like active, whatever. But for this particular video, I wanted to give you guys insight on my in-gym weightlifting training split. If this is something that interests you guys, again, it's not for everybody. This is just for me and what works for my body. I'm not one who particularly likes to spend a lot of time in the gym and I don't like to overdo it in the gym. So four days is enough for me to get all my body parts targeted twice, at least, at least twice. It's enough for me to focus on building strength while still maintaining like a decently balanced physique. I'm not trying to be no bodybuilder and I'm not trying to be no powerlifter. I just lift like purely just because I enjoy it and because it brings me some sort of mental clarity. So again, don't get on me. But if y'all like this style video, if you guys want to see more of me in the gym or more of like my fitness knowledge, let me know in the comments. I may have to drop another video for you guys about like nutrition and like supplementation and whatnot because I do take supplements, but it's really, really like, it's, that's, I'll say that for another video. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you guys tapping in with me. It's your boy Dave. Oh, 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 before, before, before I close this out, two things, two things. We're coming up on 7,000 subs, so I appreciate y'all for continuing to fuck with me on this YouTube platform and all my platforms in general, bro. All my platforms are continuing to grow at a rate that I am greatly appreciative and I wouldn't be in the position I am today if it wasn't for you guys and your guys' support. Um, a couple things. One, all the gym fits you saw me wearing are by Anaka Power. Head over to the website, use my discount code Dave Shop. Save you some money. We still got a gang of stuff for sale. Like a shit ton of stuff from backpacks to apparel to, you know, accessories the whole night. Um, all my video editors, click this link right here or click the link in my description. Go ahead and grab my personalized video editing LUTs. You guys can use those for Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro if you like. I'm also dropping my Lightroom Vintage presets. So a lot of you guys have asked for presets to, to edit photos in Lightroom for mobile and for desktop. Um, I've curated my own, I think about five to six grainy kind of like, you know, vibey little presets for you guys to use. Those will drop soon. So be on the lookout for that as well. Um, for daily uploads, make sure you guys tap into my IG, to my TikTok, YouTube Shorts every so often, you feel me? Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the rest. That's it. I'm tired. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. I'm tired, gang. I worked out four days in a row just for you guys. You guys better drop a like. Subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, drop a comment. Drop a comment. Let me know. Let, let the people close to you know that you love me. You care about them. It's your boy Dave. And I'm out.